hey hey everybody and welcome back so in today's video we are setting up our november budget for 2023 so we have all of our budget kits here they are live in the etsy shop if you want to purchase any of them they are available um we're gonna flip to november first thing we're gonna set up is our november monthly view here within here we like to track all of our cash expenses from our cash envelopes as well as all of our bills that have come out and been paid I put them on the dates that they're cleared my account so let's lay these down and then on the days that we don't spend any money from our sinking funds not sinking funds from our cash envelopes or from paying bills is considered a no spend so you'll see no spends put down in here all right lay these down beautiful all right so there is this one here so flipping on over on this next page here we like to do our debt and for our debt i now do the debt avalanche because i like to try i'm tracking the apr now that my student loans are accruing interest and we're tracking those individually from each other just because I'm working on paying off one at a time that is the highest interest or with the highest APR accruing to it so I'm going to put these down all right we are going to use let's use a teal this one okay so first up, the debt that we're working on right now, putting an extra two is student loan number two, which beginning amount is $2,054.28 with an APR of 6.8. Then the next thing we really want to get paid off will be James's car, so that way we'll have that extra there his is eleven thousand seven hundred fifty and forty eight cents i figure as soon as we get his paid off and have that we'll be able to work on tackling the other student loans really fast and then getting work on my car so kind of the thought process and his has a 10.87 interest on it next is going to be student loan number four Its amount to be paid off is one thousand one oh seven and forty three cents with a APR of three point eight six. This one's next just because it's got a next higher percentage on our student loans, and it's the lower amount of the two that have the same APR. So then we have student loan number three, which will be at three thousand. Four hundred and eight dollars and thirty-two cents at three eighty-six interest or APR. Next up is student loan number one, with three thousand three hundred seventy-seven and fifty-three cents, with the APR of three point four zero. Next up will be the Highlander. at $21,138.40 with an interest of 5.24. And then lastly, we have medical at $13,315 with no APR. All right, so that is all of our debt that we have currently. So we're going to skip one little space. Got it perfect. And now below here seems that I've been doing this for a while. I like to put a transaction log at the bottom because I like to track when I put money towards all of our debt. 
so that way I know which one got what amount. And now that we're doing student loans individually again, I definitely want to track how much I'm putting towards there. So, piece is stuck to me. Okay, there's that. And then transaction log. Oh, I think that's so cute. Okay, so down here we'll just put the date that was paid on, how much we're paying, which debt that it's going towards. And sometimes I do the amount of that goes towards principal and goes towards interest. So just depends. All right. Next up, we like to do our paycheck breakdown on this side and then our budget over here. So let's lay down this one. this side all right beautiful all right so we're gonna do our budgeted side first over here Go. all right so for sources of income that we have so we have James's check Then we have mine. So for me now, I put some of my um, my personal check that I've been getting. I've been putting a little bit towards it and then using SHIP to help put a little bit more towards it. And the rest of my check we've been putting in the savings so that way we can build our savings back up. And then we have business. So the YouTube and Etsy, if there's any income from that. And then we have other for anything else that happens to come through. All right. Those are our sources. All right. So estimated for James is about 3,000. For myself, I actually increased it to 600 for this month. Then nothing and nothing, so 3600 for income to bring in to fund up December's bills and expenses. Okay. Now, moving on down, we're going to do our fixed expenses first. So we have cars at 920. We have rent at 800. 700 is how much we pay towards rent and the $100 extra towards a loan that I got from him. In December, it'll be paid off, so I don't have to worry about it after that. It'll be 700 going forward. Then we have Allstate. And that is $314. Cell phone at 166 internet at 66 student loans is 100 now student loans I keep pulling it up and it keeps saying zero amount due for the next month so I don't know I don't know what is going on but I've been making a payment because it's definitely accruing interest and I don't want it getting really high again. So I've been making the payments and putting the extra, all of it towards the first one I'm working on. But I don't know, I don't know what's going on with all that. Pest control is $33. Okay, we're gonna leave a space just in case something's gotten forgot, has been forgotten. All right, so for this side here, 920, 800, 314, 166, 66, 233. So 2,399 is our total fixed amount. This was all collected from last month's income. All right, go on to the variable side here. All right, so we have power, which we budget 300. 
we have water, which is budgeted at 100. Groceries, we had 600 put aside for budget for gas. There was 400. And then nothing from spending, no miscellaneous for this month. Um, so we're going to skip writing those two down. Then we had sinking funds, which we don't budget anything is what we bring in for the month is what we put in the actual. And then debt, same thing, cushion, and then anything that comes in that may be unbudgeted that we have to use our savings for. Okay. Once again, we're going to skip a line. All right, so the total on this side here is 1,400 is our total budgeted amount for there. All right, so that is what our November budget looks like here. All right, so next up, we are gonna do our paycheck breakdown on this side here. So we have paycheck one through four here because we have four checks that will come in for the month of November. So we wanna make sure we account for all of those. So here we are, paycheck breakdown. All right. The first part here is going to be the same as what we have over here for our sources of income, which is James, myself, business income, and then any other income. So we have James, Mel, Liz, Liz, and then other. So I'll go here. All right, and our budget amounts are going to be the same as what they are at the top here. So 3000 for James, 600 for myself, business is none, other is none. So that's 3600 for the month. All right, and now on this next part, we like to list all of our expenses straight down, and I try to get them in order from highest to lowest, but I also put groceries and gas at the top because that is definitely a bigger priority over, like, spending money and things like that. So, let's go ahead and list all of our expenses. First up, we have our vehicles, so the cars, and for both payments, it is $9.20 a month. Then we have rent, and this will be our last 800. Going into December, we'll only be blowing 700, so that's awesome. Then we have groceries, and we only have 500 that we're putting towards it from this budget amount here. For gas, it is 300. So normally we try to do 600 in groceries, 400 in gas. It's not what we have for this month, so we just re reduced it just a little bit. Then we have utilities, so power and water, that's a total of 400. Then Allstate, which is 314. AT&T covers our internet and cell phone at 232. Then we have student loans at 100, pest control at 33. All right, then we have miscellaneous spending. Sinking funds. Debt. and then the cushion and it was one dollar is going to go into the cushion because that was all that's left over from here so 
Miscellaneous doesn't have anything budgeted, spending, sinking funds, and debt currently. So let's see. I think that is everything. We are, of course, going to skip a line in case there's anything been forgotten. So we'll go here. All right, so that is our budgeted. Let's make sure it adds up to our 3,600. So 920 plus 800, 500, 300, 4. All right, 3,600. All right, is what we need. All right. So we have that nice and set up. We're gonna lay down our thin washies here. So we're gonna pull in the pop of orange in the middle. All right, and then we're gonna do the bottom perfect so that is what our paycheck breakdown and november budget pages look like when they're completely set up flipping on over the next thing we like to do is our weekly check-in over here and then a transaction log so we know what we're spending on each week so we're going to lay down both sides on here now for our weekly check-in we only check in for what we have in our cash envelopes which for this month we don't have any spending there was no miscellaneous money so only thing we're going to be checking in for will be gas and groceries and then if anything comes up that is unbudgeted so we're only going to have two Three, three categories listed this time around. Right, we are. Perfect. All right, and with that, we are only gonna put in our header and then our first one because also we haven't been doing quite as many check-ins. So I don't wanna lay all the stickers down and then we not need them. So we're gonna lay down that and then week one. And I'm just going to put this in the back of my planner so when I do the next check-in I can go ahead and lay it down and set it up that way. But I am going to go ahead and lay down some washies at the bottom here to kind of have it bordered in. Normally I try to do one check-in each week to stay on track, but with only having two categories, I'm not really sure if we're gonna get that done or not. So we might have one check-in, we might do two check-ins this month, maybe even three. Hoping for four, but we'll see. So we're just gonna sit that back here, so it's there. So that's what this is gonna look like for now. If it changes, we'll add the next week in. Now the last page that we are setting up is our sinking funds and we have a lot of sinking funds with a lot of zeros um, just because it's the end of the year we've spent through a lot of what we have set aside so a lot of these have been emptied out and we haven't really had any extra to put back into them quite yet but they are ones that we don't want to get rid of just because they are things that happen throughout the year or that we need to set money into okay so we're also going to do the transaction log for that and track all of our expenses that come from our sinking funds which shouldn't be too too many all right so there is that one and we're going to use these two here All right, so sinking funds. All right, so we are gonna fill in all of our sinking fund categories that we do 
have. So, and I have these in alphabetical order just to make it a little easier to find certain categories. So we have one for all of the kids. So we start off with Alexis. Um, she currently has nothing we need to add for December's um, gym fees. So we need to add a hundred dollars somehow, some way by the end of the month. Um, it'll cover gym fees, anything special she wants to get. Um, other than that, then we have anniversary, which we just used our anniversary fund from in October. So it currently has nothing. So hopefully by October of next year, we'll have one or two hundred dollars back into that. So that way we'll be able to do something. Then we have birthdays. This one has nothing in it. We also have my stepson's birthday at the end of this month. So we need to put some back in there because he wants to do a birthday dinner and then trying to decide what to get him for his birthday because he wants a few different things. So we shall see. Then we have Bubba. who has nothing, we need to get $80 into his account for his gym fees for Ninja. Then we have car maintenance, which currently has nothing. Car taxes, every year we have to pay on our vehicles to renew their tar car tags. Um, and that's for each vehicle that we have. So we currently have nothing in that one. Then for Christmas, it's 271. I would like to see this hit at least a thousand, but we'll manage, we'll figure it out. Then we have clothing for everyone in the house that needs any kind of clothes. And it currently has zero. Family fun. Anything we do as a family that needs to buy snacks or an activity that we're going to go do or something like that is where that comes from. It has zero. Gifts currently has nothing. This is for baby showers and birthdays and anything like that. We have holiday. Covers every holiday except for Christmas because it has its own category. Lawn. Luckily, we don't really need anything for the lawn right now because it's kind of gotten cold. So we don't need to do grass or anything. But we'll need that for the summer and then this one is mine um, anything I have left over from my personal spending I put in here to help cover pretty much my hair getting my hair done is what it covers and then we have Phoenix who has nothing and needs 85 in his account to cover gym fees then we have Sam's club and that currently has any, nothing and I took James off so it's just me on it so it should come down to like $40 or something I hope so and then we have school and school is negative 66 because we had bought pictures then we have sky nothing Steven has nothing then I'm taking Vision out because we've been using our um, health savings account to pay for glasses and eye appointments and things like that because it's covered with the HSA card. So we're going to take Vision out. And then we have Utilities, which has 157 right now. All right, so there are all of our sinking funds. Now, utilities is definitely a unique one. We budget a certain amount for our power and water. And when the bill is either over, we use this to help cover the overage. Or when it's under, we use the leftover amount and add it into it. So that way, the next time if it is over, we'll have the extra. So that is that one. All right, so now we have sinking funds set up. We're gonna grab our washi here, kind of put it down here to match it up. 
All right, so that is our last setup that we do for this month. So let's flip through. So we have our November monthly calendar here where we'll track all of our bills and expenses from our cash envelopes, so groceries and gas pretty much. Then we have our debt avalanche page set up, well, our debt page that we have in order of how we're wanting to get it paid off and hopefully get it done quickly. We'll see. And then next up, we have our paycheck breakdown. This will be the most used page in this whole setup because we track every income that we have each week. Then we have our November budget all nice and laid out. The income here is gonna help cover all of our bills for December. And these are already covered for November's income or for November. We have our weekly check-in. Hopefully we'll get at least three weekly check-ins done this month, but we're just gonna set it up with one and see where it goes for this month. And then we have our sinking funds set up and ready to go. So those are all of the budgeting kits that I personally use in my planner. I do have it to where you can use the budget kit here and do each paycheck like this on a separate sheet to fill it in this way. Um, that is an option in the shop. We also have the debt tracker and the debt snowball um, if you want to track your debts that direction. So it just depends. They are available in the shop. Um, but I really hope that y'all enjoyed this November budget with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I can't wait to catch y'all in the next video. Bye bye now.